sneezing. <laughs> okay, it is the evening. I waited until right at evening to bait these because these are a wonderful, wonderful addition to this fishing trip. My buddy Owen caught these last night under the light while he was fishing for his uh, crappie. What this is, a shad. They are very soft. <laughs> Somebody's just sneezing. They're very soft, and I'm afraid bluegill are gonna peck them off the line before a catfish even has time to see it. So I was waiting till after, till it was getting close to dark before I bait them on here. And shad die very easy, so obviously they're not alive. So I've been keeping them on ice all day to try to preserve them to where they'll be useful this evening. I'll tell you one thing, this is not the easiest way to fish, but it is productive and that's what we're after. Those of you that follow my channel know that I don't waste a thing. Well, I try not to waste a thing. And when I get a hold of a big catfish, that booger's got a place to go. Well, when you're feeding five kids and you got a wife and five kids and Frank to feed. You gotta make hay while the sun shines. But other than that, that's all for tonight. The next time you see me, hopefully I'm gonna be pulling a big catfish up out of this water. You ain't gonna believe it. <laughs> oh, I've been out here checking these, well, actually baiting these lines with Caleb. We got a monster. Look at it. You're, you won't believe this. Yes. <laughs> oh my word. At least 30 pounds. I don't know. Ay, 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 ay. Oh my goodness gracious. Lands of mercies. Oh. Drop down in the comments. Tell me what you think he weighs. Oh, don't bite me, buddy. Don't bite me. I'm saying 35. Just guessing. Oh, man. And we're set up to bait lines, not catch fish. All the rest of the boys are at the houseboat getting ready for supper. That's a pig, an absolute pig. Whew. Okay, now we'll see you again in the morning when we get all these lines baited and we check them in the morning. All right, this is the next day, and this is the shad day. What do we got here right away? Uh, channel. Channel cat, good deal. All right, just pull the boat on around. I mean, we are right at the bank. Yesterday, I got a big old snapping turtle on that hook right there. That will be on a future video. He's currently hibernating on the ice. David, help him out, son. What's going on? When a man's got a big pole between his legs, you go. <laughs> oh, man. You need a pair of pliers there, sonny boy. Does anybody else have a pair of pliers on them? Because these are junk. There we go. He put the muscle on it. And get hung up on our other line. He just got a bluegill right there by our draw line. All right, coming in towards the bank. This is a just a high high percentage location always right here against the bank. And people always think out in the middle is where they're at. But that ain't the case. Look here. Channel. There we 
we go. And again, we just now get started on the, this line and of all things right here against the shore. They've got fish so tight they can't hardly operate. Can you get him without him getting away with it? You don't even have to put him in a net, just flip him in. He ain't going to... Son, that's why you... <laughs> Oh boy. That's why we use nets, I guess. When you pick them up, you give them all the advantage in the world. And he looked like he was hooked good. He was. That's the whole reason I thought I could pick him up. Didn't yep. Well, you got to get him over that boat quick. I mean, you do not have time to mess around. If you can't get him over the boat, get him back in the water. That's just simple fact. Well, I guess the girls will feel better if they uh, actually get to watch this video. We got one up here. We got one up here. The girls lost a carp. And David lost a catfish. So the girls will feel better about that. Mr. Owen will have to show his daughter that clip. All right, let's do, let's do it right this time, boys. Let's show them girls how it's done. All right, there's a big old cat. All right, get him in that ice chest. Let's get on. There's more on this line. I can tell it. Say, Matt, look at me. You look sleepy, son. You, according to your hair, you had a good night. Is that a fish up there? What it? What? 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 What you, what you got, son? Oh. Oh, he got away. Of all the ridiculous things. <laughs> That's two on this line. One not our fault and one was our fault. Well, boys, that's two fish. Let's go check the, the one. Go ahead and let go of it, Matt. Let's go check the one by the by the houseboat that we, uh, we have a separate video going on about using catfish for bait. All right, let's go. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera on before we get to the trot line because they keep catching them at the bank and I can't hardly get it on camera. We're easing in. Yeah, push us a little bit that way. You'll be able to reach the trot line in about two seconds there, old buddy. Just let it keep it going. You, you're you're fine. I don't see that trot line moving. Huh. Maybe this is just a bad place for a trot line. Grab a stick, man. The bait's even. There's fish. The bait's on this line. Very interesting. It's one that we baited right at dark, so the bluegills weren't active, but they should be active now. Very strange for there to be bait on that line. All right. This is in the cove with the houseboat right here. I enjoy that because odds of somebody finding your line and checking it for themselves is low. You think there's a fish on there, do you? Let's try not to let this one get away. That'd be a bad ending. Oh, wouldn't that be terrible if it's already off? I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. If they get off by themselves, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. There ain't no fish on him. Well, I guess it's the phase of the moon. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh no, he got away. It wasn't your fault and it wasn't his fault. It was my fault. I was trying to video and do my netting job. Here, give me five, son. That was un. That was unbelievable, son. Give me five, son. I thought he was a drunk. 
I cannot believe that just happened. Next time I will be a little better about getting him in the net. Mm -hmm. You should. <laughs> he, he act like he was going that way, but I don't think he was. Ay, 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 boy. Caleb, you want to go get in that cave right there? Crawl in there on your hands and knees, see if there's a big catfish in there? Huh? Are you still sleepy? Yes. <laughs> Long night. <laughs> okay, no fish on this one. This here is very time sensitive because when you untie it, then the hooks can just drop down to the bottom and get hung on anything. Sticks, logs, just whatever's in the bottom. So uh, we go, we work quick now. We don't have to use the motor to propel us. We just pull ourselves along by the, by the line. When we come to a hook, Hook it into the styrofoam and then just keep it going. This is, this has proved to be the best all around method that we have. We have found methods that are much quicker for putting the lead line out, but then it's slower in the long run because you got to put each hook on individually. This right here just seems to be the all around quickest method. This part right here has got these steel leaders Mr. David May give us. He's a good old subscriber of the channel. I was hoping to catch one on one, David, but for some reason we didn't catch a single fish on one of your leaders. We did our part. We kept them baited. All right, we're on the next line, and just like always, they get a fish so quick I barely get my camera on. How's it going there, boys? Does he feel like a good one? Not too big. Might be a turtle. <laughs> we got a turtle basically on that very same hook or right in that area yesterday. Definitely a fish. What you got there, Dave? Oh, feisty little channel. You want to run the ice chest, Caleb? As soon as it hits the bottom, shut it. Boom, good job. All right, we'll go down through here and see if we get any more. We might change our mind about it being a bad night, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it wasn't too good, which it's fine. We we got our fish. We don't need a whole lot more. All right, we're on the third. This time we don't have one right against the edge, but I guess we'll see soon if we have one. All right, they're telling me we got one. This bank has always been productive. Is it a good one? It looks good. Oh, that is a feisty old booger. That is a one of them round, big round channels. That is a, ooh, it's a beast. Whew, that is a beast of a, of a channel. Look at those big blubbery lips. <laughs> That's a he's a he's a male, big blubbery lipped male. David's up there with a Gasper goo. Is he alive? A little bit. Yeah. Oh. Now you got it. Okay, one, two, three, four. That one there is such a strong catfish. He can he can twist out of your hands. There's like no way you can hold him. He's an absolute beast. That is a host daddy. Good job, boys. No. Just lift him in. Get him over the boat. <laughs> We're tangled under that on that tree again. A gas per goo, otherwise known as a freshwater drum. Up north they call them sheep's head or sheep head. But the technical name for them, not the Latin, but the technical name for them, it's freshwater drum. They've got these in saltwater too, not exactly this breed, but there we go. Most people call them trash fish, not the McGee's. That was a big catfish. Get your net, David, get your net. I had a feeling. I had a sneaky suspicion.
get a little different camera angle for you boys if I drop this. Another good one. Well, as it turns out, Caleb, we are gonna have a good mess of fish. It takes a lot of fish to make a meal for you boys. No more. No, there is a fish. See that? <laughs> the last hook's got a fish on it. Toidle. Oh no, a toidle. We don't we don't need a toidle. It's a painted. He wasn't on a hook. He wasn't on a hook. He gone. Okay, good. Don't let go of it. We gotta get over there and untie it and start winding it up. All right. All right, we're heading back to the marina. The wind is up. If there was one moment in this whole trip, I wish the wind wasn't up, it'd be right now. Because these big old boogers take that wind and it's like a sail. So I have to just keep overcorrecting, trying to keep this thing rolling, but Big water is not too dangerous. When I get up there, try to anchor up, that's when it's going to get tedious. We made it back safe and here comes the poop tank to pump the poop. What a sweetie. Oh, we don't charge by the pound. time that's all we've got for you we'll see you on the next video